Finalysis combines the trends of sports betting with the analytics made famous in fantasy football. The result is the sharpest angles. So let's bring in a sports investment analyst from PicksWise, Jared Smith. We're talking about the Jets game and the Giants game. The Jets, 10 and a half point dogs in Denver. This is the biggest line of the week, and it's over the key number of 10. Is that too big for the Sharps? I, I don't think it is. I think actually this number is right where the Sharps are starting to feel comfortable buying in on the Jets. Now, if you go back a week ago, before Zach Wilson threw all those interceptions, and before Denver looked good again on the road against Jacksonville, I don't want to read too much into that, but this line was only seven and a half. And, and then the Zach Wilson game happened, and, and the Patriots pummeled the Jets, and again, the Broncos won again on the road, and now this line's moved all the way to, it, you opened almost 11, 11 and a half. Now the Sharps have bought it down a little bit to 10 and a half. I still think you're getting a lot of line value on the Jets here. Don't get me wrong. The Broncos have looked fantastic. I love that defense. But the injuries are starting to add up. Last week, it was Chubb and Darby. This week, it's Josie Jewell. That's three starters for the Broncos defense already on IR. They're already without Jerry Judy as well. I think as much as I like this Denver team and as scared as I am to back the Jets, when the line moves that much in the NFL, you have to look to the other side because that's where you're getting the value. A full three points from that look ahead line on seven and a half. Now we're getting ten and a half. Well, you talk about a tough way to come into the NFL. Zach Wilson will have now faced three of the top five defenses in his first three weeks in the NFL. But as you said, those injuries are starting to pile up for Denver. Are those injuries key enough that that it would flip the script more or less? I, I think they are. And listen, I, I don't think the Jets are going to go into mile high and get a win. I, that would be a really surprising thing. But what I do think is going to happen, I do think eventually you're going to start to see Zach Wilson settle in a little bit. Maybe it's not this week. Maybe he makes a few throws like he did in the Carolina game. I think New England, that game started so badly, the snowball got rolled down the mountain and eventually it just devoured this Jets team. <laughs> There are, it, the, I don't know if you guys watched Ted Lasso. Be a goldfish, Zach Wilson. Be a goldfish. You threw four picks last week. Forget it. It's over. I don't think he's going to throw four interceptions this week, and I think this line's moved a little bit too much. We're getting a little value on the Jets. All right, and we're going to be moving away from the best quarterback against the spread over the past five years in Teddy Bridgewater because that number is just really big. Uh, the Giants winless, but uh, three-point home favorites taking on Atlanta. Uh, they faced Teddy Bridgewater, they faced Taylor Heineke, and they both lit up the Giants' defense. You see Matt Ryan doing the same? Yeah, and I'll be honest, I went back and I watched the game film. I watched two game films uh, very closely last week, um, from last week. The first one was Daniel Jones just throwing it all over the yard, running it all over the yard against Washington. The, when I looked at, I get a, a like a metrics report from some of the pro football focus guys every week. They send me analytics. I read their offensive report. Daniel Jones had one of the highest like like grades of any quarterback last week, and that's the first time I've seen him so high on that list. I, and again, with Daniel Jones, you expect volatility. So coming off of his best week, I, I'm willing to, to to sell high in that spot. On the other side, I watched very closely Atlanta and Tampa Bay. That game was on the knife's edge in the fourth quarter. 28-25, could have gone either way. A couple of late turnovers made it a blowout. It wasn't a blowout. I think Atlanta's got a little bit more juice right now, and I do not trust Joe Judge. I do not trust Jason Garrett. I don't think the long rest is going to help them. If anything, it's going to hurt them. And I, I, I just don't see the Giants putting it all together and I can't lay points with Daniel okay, Jones. So and you got to take the full three here with Atlanta. Let's not forget the Giants would be one and one if not for an offsides penalty that shouldn't have been an offsides penalty on that field goal. Give them an extra chance. But still, both of these teams uh, looking for their first wins of the season. So that's how he sees the Jets and the Giants games. Make sure you check out our other segment on top plays and the teaser you won't want to miss out on. For Jared Smith at PicksWise, I'm Steve Overmeyer. This is Finalysis.